Hi guys, Larry Feldman with a lesson on arithmetic series. If you haven't watched my video on arithmetic sequences, I would recommend that you do that first. Um, series and sequences are closely related. I just want to point out the uh, differences and give you some examples. Uh, the main difference is that instead of a sequence where we have a list of numbers uh, that are that are perhaps separated by commas in a series the numbers are added together as shown on the screen and there's a very convenient way to find the sum of an arithmetic series and I'll give you the equation it's s sub n equals n over 2 times quantity a sub 1 plus a sub n. And n is the number of terms in the series. a sub 1 is the first term. a sub n is the last term. So using the series that I've written on the screen, we can say that s sub 4, which is the sum of the first four terms, is n over 2, and n is 4, as I stated times the quantity a sub 1. a sub 1 is the first term, and a sub 4 is the last term, so that's 14. This simplifies to 2 times 16, which is 32. And if we did this the long way, of course with only four terms it's really not that bad, we see that we have 2 plus 6 plus 10 plus 14. So we have 8 plus 24, which is 32. But, and this is a very key point, notice that if we add the outer terms first, we get 2 plus 14, which is 16. And then if we add the inner terms, we get 16. And 16 plus 16 is 32. And this second method of adding the first and last term mirrors this portion of the equation. We add the first term and the last term, and then we multiply by n over 2. And n over 2 is just the number of terms in the series. If n is, excuse me, it's half the number of terms in the series. If n is the number of terms, we're dividing it by 2. Be, and we divide it by 2 because there are pairs. In other words, 2, 2 plus 14 gives us the 16, and that's what we get by adding a sub 1 plus a sub n. Then we have to multiply that, that's, that sum of 16 times the number of pairs. And the number of pairs will be half of the number of terms in the series. Okay, at this stage I want to introduce sigma notation. And sigma notation may look a little strange at first, but I think you'll get the hang of it. We have this uh, Greek letter, which is a sigma. We can say at the bottom, n equals 1, and at the top, 4. And I can put an a sub n in here. And th again, this is just an example. But this means a sub 1 plus a sub 2 plus a sub 3 plus a sub 4. How did I get that? What we do is we start when n equals 1. We look down here. That becomes the first term. Then what we do is we add 1 to this starting value. That becomes a 2, which is here. So we add a sub 2. Then we keep going. We add another 1. So we get a sub 3. And then we add another 1, and so forth. So we get an a sub 4. We stop when we get to this number right here. So let's go back to the example that we've been using for
for quite a while now of 2 plus 6 plus 10 plus 14. Um, if you recall from the first video on arithmetic sequences, D, which is the common difference, is 4. It's the difference between any two consecutive terms. And we discussed an explicit formula that looked like this, excuse me, that looked like this, a sub n equals a sub m plus d times n minus m. And in this case, let's say a sub n equals a sub, here we can use 1, 2, 3, or 4. Let's use 2 here just for some variety and just to show you that m can be any index that, that um, gives us a, a value. In other words, we know a sub 2. d is 4. And in parentheses, we have n minus m. n, so that's going to be n minus 2. Now, let's keep going. Simplify this. a sub n equals a sub 2 plus we distribute four, ti four times quantity n minus 2 is 4n minus 8. That simplifies to a sub n equals a sub 2, which we know. This is a sub 2. That's a 6 plus 4n minus 8. And finally, we have 6 minus 8 is negative 2 plus 4n. Now, this is a very important result, and we can, we can tell if we did it right by subbing in different values of n. For example, if I say n is 1, I get a sub 1, again, n is 1, a sub 1 equals negative 2 plus 4 times 1, which is negative 2 plus 4 which is 2. And that agrees with what we have here. I'm just going to jump around a little bit. We have a sub 2 is negative 2 plus 4 times n. In this case, n is 2, so it goes here and here. So we have negative 2 plus 8, which is 6. And that agrees with the second term there. So this equation is a way of representing every term in our sequence. Okay, so let's do an example to tie this all together. Let's say that you're asked to find out the number of terms in a series that you need to add together to get a sum of 72. In other words, s sub n equals 72. We're given this explicit equation, which we've been using for uh, two videos now, but this time we're going to solve for n. So the way we do that is by writing the equation for s sub n, which is n over 2 times the quantity a sub 1 plus a sub n. By substitution, since s sub n is 72, we can sub that into the left side of the equation. We don't know n, so we leave that as a variable. We need a sub 1 plus a sub n. We don't know a sub n, but we know the equation for it. It's right here. So let's, let's sub that in here by replacing a sub n with the expression that it's equivalent to. Negative 2 plus 4n, negative 2 plus 4n. Let's simplify this a little bit. 72 equals n over 2 times a sub 1. Now, a sub 1, if you don't recall, uh, it doesn't matter because we can find a sub 1 by using our explicit formula. Let n equal 1. Um, sub that into the equation here. a sub 1 equals negative 2 plus 4 times 1 which is negative 2 plus 4, which is 2. So we get to sub the 2 in here. 
we subtract this 2, that's right here, and then we add 4n, and bear with me, we're getting there, 72 equals n over 2, the 2's cancel, we have times 4n, let's keep going, notice that we have 4 divided by 2 here, so we have 72 equals 4 divided by 2 is 2, and then we have n times n, which is n squared, divide by 2, so we get 36 equals n squared, running out of room, but the square root of 36 is 6, so we get n equals 6. Now we're ready to analyze the result. The result said that we need to add the first six terms of that arithmetic series. So let's, let's write it out. It was 2 plus 6 plus 10 plus 14 plus 18. And what is the sixth term? We find that by adding 4 to 18. We get 22. This is s sub 6. Let's double check that that's right. We have, and we'll do it this unconventional way, or I consider it uh, now to be a conventional way. This is 24. 6 plus 18 is 24. Let's rewrite that. And 10 plus 14 is 24. So we have 24 plus 24 plus 24, which is, you guessed it, 72. So I hope that was helpful. Uh, please do me a favor and subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out my website, www.lfeldman.com, for links to my mobile apps, which cover everything from algebra through calculus with hundreds of examples, tutorials, and solvers. See you next time. Thanks.